Hi everyone, my name is Lee. I am the designer and the creator of the Bath Bomb Press and we came uh, to the islands and we're going to do a demonstration of our Bath Bomb Press Ooh. here. Uh, we came all the way to the islands so that we can uh, work together and uh, show you uh, all of our um, molds and our uh, Bath Bomb Press. We were so excited when Ariane contacted us so we decided we would uh, come out to the islands and show the um, <laughs> give her some instructions uh, uh, with our machine. Yeah. Here's a closer up of our uh, bath bomb press. This is the unit right here and you will get it all assembled and uh, the only thing you'll need to do is just attach the air hose and Ariane's showing that right now and that's all you need to do and this is a selection of um, some of our molds that we're going to overview today and uh, this is our medium round mold. Ariane's just putting the uh, top of the mold onto the press and this is the inside and the sleeve. And this is the finished product right here. So here's one of them that's already done. Yep. And then we have a selection of other ones. Here's our heart mold. We have a shower tablet mold. Here's the inside. And here's a shower tablet I made yesterday with Lee. And we have uh, a mini one that we're going to use. Mini round one. And then our large round one, which is will be about an 8-ounce bath bomb. It's really big. Yeah, <laughs> I love this one. And um, our cube mold. I always say on uh, Instagram that uh, squares the new round, and here's how it looks. Great. All of our dry and wet ingredients are already measured and weighed out. The only one missing is the baking soda, so we're going to go ahead, put it in the stand mixer, and mix it up. And when we send the press, we do send a uh, recipe, a uh, sample recipe to work from. As well as a the tips and tricks. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll all come when uh, with your machine. Let's just move this to the hand mixer. Not the hand mixer, but the stand mixer. Okay. Let's start that slowly. And we have pre-mixed the uh, fragrance oil, the carrier oil, and the witch hazel. Yep. So we'll just switch that around and slowly pour that in as it's mixing. Try one more speed higher. That smells really good. Let's put one gram. I'll start to mix it again. Oh, that's a nice color. Okay, and we'll start to add the citric acid as it's mixing. And you can see the grains here of the mixture and it's starting to look a little bit grainy over powdery so i think we're getting close to uh, pr uh ready for pressing and i'm just going to mix the white bits here great let me l just lower the bowl for you so it's going to be a little easier perfect thanks and i can also like put my hands down and kind of feel the texture and see if it's ready uh, to press yeah let's see i think it's looking great yeah perfect. it looks really good We do do a, a little bit of a slower speed and over a faster speed and the reason behind it is so that less air is inside the uh, mixture so when you're pressing the bombs after they're drying they actually don't uh, cave in a little bit oh, so okay. yeah because they will flatten once there's more air in there okay we've prepared our mixture right now so that's uh, ready to go we just transferred into a wider bowl so it's easier to uh, work with i just want to go over a couple more things uh, regarding our uh, bath bomb press uh, so we have two levers, so it's the top right lever and a bottom uh, left lever. And uh, to operate the press, you have to press down on the bottom lever, and then you push the top lever back and forth. So that's pushing it down and pushing it to pull it back up. When you pull towards you, it pulls back up. Another uh, safety feature that we have 
is our plexiglass that's on the back of the machine so no one from behind can come by and uh, grab the mold and uh, get their hand you know possibly hurt or anything like that and why another reason why we have two levers is that uh, both your hands are out of the way as the machine is operating and now we'll start pressing so <laughs> we're going to start with a medium round mold and i'm just going to fill it so we just fill it to uh just to the about the rim and i press down a little bit with my palm and i'll put it under here and like i said we press the um safety valve and the lever at the same time so it presses down <laughs> there you go. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. All right, and I wanted to show uh, this is a top of yep. a mold that fits into the medium round and it has an indent in it so you can pipe frosting if you want to. We pressed one uh, off camera just to show you guys. Oops. See, so there's a, actually a hole and you can put bubbly frosting or yep, fizzy so frosting, frosting, soap frosting, whatever. Yep. And yeah. That's to decorate amazing. the top of your bath bomb. Yeah, that's super. So we'll have those actually for the small, medium, and the large round ones. Oh, that's yeah. great. So we just introduced that. So the height of your cube will depend on how much you uh, yeah. put into the mold. And then put this in place. And flip it over and just kind of push this up. And there you go. And here it is up close. Ooh. Cube is the new round. That's right. That's Lee's. <laughs> so I always say square's the new round. Yep. I really love how the top of the molds just like unscrew and screw back on so easily. It's like really easy to switch it up between the same batches. Uh, this is great. So if you're looking to do um, several different shapes, but you want the exact same color, yep. uh, you can uh, do that. So they can just be swapped right out. So you do just all your rounds and then you swap for another mold and just yep, continue that's right. pressing. And just continue pressing. Okay. And Lee showed me this little trick to unmold. This is so pretty. There you go. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'll let that rest. Now uh, let's show the mini mold, the sphere, the mini sphere. Okay. And how do you pack this one? So this one could be looser since oh, okay. um, it doesn't have to be that tall okay. of a bath bomb since it's just a mini one. Oh, and you can make like so many minis and then pop a couple in the bathtub. That's right. You do it's different color combinations. Wow, this is really tiny. Can you put the medium just beside it so we can oh, compare? Sure. So here's the medium and the mini. Really cute. So this is the large round mold and uh, the diameter is two and three quarters. And the height of the Saturn ring um, would depend on how much you fill it. Okay. And here's oh, the top wait. of it for me. <laughs> It's longer to fill. <laughs> yes. It, takes it makes up. about a seven, uh, seven and a half. You can get almost an eight ounce bath bomb with okay. it. So it's quite large. Because of the weight. Oh, wow. It's really nice, really smooth. I love and it. And that's the large. This is the heart mold, and Lee pressed one uh, today, and we made a couple yesterday as well. So it's really, really nice, and it's already available on your website, right? Yes, that's right. And this is one we made yesterday with a swirl in it. They're really cute. <laughs> Perfect. To clean the machine, it's pretty easy. Just with a damp cloth, you can just wipe all of the excess out. And for the divot, you can use a toothbrush that you keep just for cleaning things out and you just wet it and then you just kind of brush it all around and wipe it down. And for the loose powder, you can brush the machine and get everything out from down under here and start a new batch. 
And here's a sample of some of our molds. We have more molds listed on our website and you can head over there to take a view of them. Thank you everyone for watching our demonstration video. Uh, we'll have all our social media uh, links below so that you can link onto our site and our social media. Uh, we'll also have uh, uh, private demonstration videos for our Bath Bomb Press owners so you can get future inspirations and other tips and ideas and uh, that will be uh, sent out when you uh, purchase the machine. And also be sure to check Ariane's YouTube channel. <laughs> I will be doing further testings with the Bath Bomb Press and I will do a full review that will be released in the next week or so. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to the Bath Bomb Press YouTube channel. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks. Bye.